All right, now, uh, the other big story we're following tonight is the search for answers in the Yellow Line disaster that left a woman dead and 80 more injured or sickened. And as the NTSB pours over the evidence, those evacuated from that train and from the station now are trying to get the belongings that they left behind. Stephen Sheeta called up with some of those passengers at Metro headquarters today. Stephen, first of all, how are they doing tonight? Well, some of them are still struggling. We talked with one man who is still hoarse. He's still having trouble breathing. The latest coming out of the NTSB, though, Leon, is that it has handed the Metro train involved in this incident back over to Metro, has gathered up these individuals' belongings left on the train, and they are en route here to headquarters. About a dozen people, though, inside the building already waiting to get their belongings back. As the National Transportation Safety Board continues its investigation into the fatal incident where a rail car filled with smoke, passengers who left their belongings on the ill-fated Metro train headed to Metro headquarters. I'm looking for my property from the train to the farm plaza. This man, whose voice still is hoarse from spending as many as 40 minutes struggling to breathe in a smoke-filled rail car, says he is anxious to get his belongings back. Yeah, well, I'm going back to the hospital, but right now I need to go ahead and get my heart medicine. The troubled train was en route to National Airport. Some of the evacuated passengers left suitcases when they fled. Sadu Fanfana spent hours today waiting to get his bag back. He rents a room in a house. His landlord is out of town, and he is unable to go home since the incident. I stayed in a motel. Uh, Georgia Avenue, uh, Washington D.C., Northwest Washington D.C. I cannot get home because of my keys in the savvy bag. Yeah, no key. He cannot get home. He can't call a locksmith because he's renting a room. He doesn't own the home. He doesn't have that authority. The landlord out of town. Now, as far as the latest coming out of the NTSB, it says it does expect to release some information, some of its findings, either later this week or early next week. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Stephen. At least one person remains hospitalized tonight, two days after that Metro incident. That person now listed in fair condition at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. And the 7 on your side investigative team is going to continue to dig for answers into what went wrong with Metro. Just ahead on ABC 7 News at 6, just how much money Metro is spending every year on legal settlements for casualties. That's a price tag that's increased each of the past three years. We'll have it for you right here.